What is going on YouTube? This is Dakota Porter from the future. You're seeing this before the video starts. Um, actually, even though this is after the fact. So, um, I just want to let you know that what you're about to see kind of sucks. Um, but we knew it was going to happen eventually. We just didn't know when. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video of me making some street passes and this old S10 pickup with them Dragama slicks and these cool primer doors and these mirrors. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoy the video and then I will see you after what happens happens. It'll be past me, future me. I don't know how this works. Anyway, see ya.
shit, that was fast. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Whoa. I mean, I guess it is nitrous. Should I turn back around? Kind of scared me at first the first time down there yeah it picked up pretty quick when you hit nitrous yeah then it died well because i i forgot i had it in drive and i went to neutral oh we have sung something somewhere there's oil here there's oil up there i wonder if it blew the valve cover gasket Yeah. Oh shit, you blew the fucking header bolt out. Yeah. Look at the header bolts in there. Is there threads on that header bolt? They're stripping out of the header, just come loose. There's right? threads on it. Uh, popped it out then, huh? I mean, threads from the motor or threads from the. There's threads on the bolt, no. No threads from the motor, I can see. Neds. Yeah, I think this is about, if all up here on top of the valve covers these are on the intake, it's usually the valve cover leaking. We'll see what it does. You got the knife off like that? Yeah. Huh? Don't turn the ignition on. Just crank it over a little bit. Mm, sounds better than it did when I first did. Give it gas? Or? weird, don't it? It might be locked up or something. Yeah, it was turning, but that's it. Yeah, just let it look like it was, yeah. Good. Man, it was fun though. The one he was going that way? Yeah. When he, when he really took off and we kind of heard it die, did it over rev? No, I just put it in neutral and then I think it put a little too much gas in nitrous when it's in neutral. Yep. So then. That's when I, that's when I was, yeah, that's when it backfired, and that's down there. I had to. Well, you come in here, and there was a huge flame that backfired out. Yeah, I see it come out the bottom. You don't see a flame? I saw yeah. a flame come out the bottom. Oh, uh, the, the bottom, bottom of the block? Yeah. Mm. Oh. That's yeah, that's where I saw the fire, was underneath. Well, maybe it was a header coming out. Well, we got a header bolt that halfway out over here. It's actually, actually, it's all the way out. It just came out hanging. underneath on the passenger side. Yeah, too hot to touch, isn't it? Yeah. The spark plug wire is holding it in there, but it's it's all out. There's no threads in the head. Uh, on. yeah, the motor's gone. Hole in it. I can see the where a rod hit the pan and there's oil. Oh shit. Well. Well. Yeah, the fire came out down here. Blew the motor up. Well. Six. Guess time for an LS now.
as you guys seen from that clip, we did blow the motor up in the old S10. Um, motor is out. Um, it's on the ground. It's a little weird. We have a lifter here that's really loose. And on the exact same side, this one is also loose. But what's even weird, it's not like it's not too weird. You can see where the crank hit the oil pan and right above it is where this lifter is. It's like that on both sides. Um, it really sucks that we blew this motor up. My grandpa spent a lot of time and money on putting this whole motor together and putting this whole truck together for me. And it sucks that it happened, but um, you know, it is what it is. We can't go back now. Um, my grandpa thinks it was a, a fuel problem why it blew up. Um, so we didn't have enough fuel for the nitrous, but I'm, I don't know. I don't think the truck running lean on no nitrous would cause it to break or snap a rod. I don't know if it did break or snap a rod. It looks like it from the pan, but um, if it was running lean, it would detonate and melt a piston, but it doesn't look like it melted a piston, but we haven't taken the heads off. So, but who knows? It could be uh, numerous amounts of things. It could be the, uh, just the rods are, I think they're just the cast rods. So it could be they're just they couldn't handle the power and the, uh, the amount of force that the nitrous was pushing and they just snapped in half. I don't know yet. Well, we'll see when we tear apart this motor. But uh, yeah, it sucks that sucks that that happened. Um, I really like to would have liked to drive this thing more with that motor set up and get more used to it and learn carburetors a little more. But that being said, the, now that the motor is blown up, we're going to swap a 5.3 LS in it, do a cam, um, some more nitrous. Maybe pistons rods. I'm a little iffy on the fence. I don't know if I want to spend that much money on it. We're going to try to do a cheap junkyard motor build. Um, so like a canned 5.3 with nitrous, Holly high rise, probably a TH400 with a trans brake, and maybe an 8.8 .8 and leave it at that. Leave the truck like that. We'll be running the um, Holly Terminator uh, X setup, the same setup I have in the 240. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Sucks that it blew up, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this was my motor, the first motor I ever blew up that has thrown a rod. So that's that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, and this is the first car I ever ran nitrous on, and man, that was that was a, <laughs> that was definitely an experience. I'm super glad I got to experience that, and I can't wait for the next setup. So that's it for now. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for the next video where we tear apart this small block Chevy and we see what really happened, you know? So stay tuned. Peace.